Hello everyone, we have another live trading video from Trader Jim. This video is from uh, Friday the 6th. Before we get into to, uh, Friday's video, I just wanted to show the market on a 5 minute chart with the Fib Grid and the volume profile here. And you can see uh, the big move that uh, Jim was talking about in the overnight session here, this big bar up. And what's interesting to note is uh, how many times the, the NASDAQ market is reaching uh, its range, uh, reaching 100% of its daily range in the overnight session. This little thicker black line here, this is 100% of the range. This uh, green line here is 75% of the range. This is 50% of the range. So the range grid indicator on the FIB grid tells you where the market is uh, progressing in its daily range, and that can give you an idea of how far the market has to go. Uh, in the remainder of the session. So this is really good information here. On the left, these boxes tell you how many times the market that you're tracking uh, has reached a percentage of its range, 25%, 50, 75, 100, and extensions of the range, 125, 150, and 200. And so, for example, going back 50 days on this chart, there's 44 sessions here, and we've hit 100% of the range. 14 sessions are 31% of the time, or one-third of the time, and so forth. This, is, this can be very useful information. I also want to point out uh, the BWT precision indicators, which the auto trader relies on, just giving some great signals here. As I always say, the volume profile, very excellent method to uh, find areas of support and resistance wherever you have these uh, areas of high volume at price. For example, obviously, uh, the point of control from Friday's session happens to be a round number, which is 8400 or 8401.75 to be exact. Next drop after that is 83.85 uh, or so right here in the current night session. This is, I'm recording this on Sunday night. Let's have a look at uh, Trader Jim's video for Friday. All right, well, we are opening up in about two minutes. The 83.60 has been reached, so this was a major target, and it was reached. Uh, it, took, it took them three days. And the concerning factor is they did it over Globex. They could not do it during pit session, which in itself is actually slightly, I'm not going to say bearish. I'm going to say suspect. So, you know, but I, I'm, I'm going to trade it you know, the, the way I think it's supposed to be traded. I mean, definitely above 60 is bullish. I cannot be bearish at this point. It's just that it will be interesting to see if they close the day below 83.60. Now that could be interesting. As of right now, first of all, I'm gonna ask for your patience. I am reconfiguring my trading setup. I purchased a number of um, larger monitors. And so took everything apart. And as of right now, this is just the laptop. So um, all I have is one screen and I'm going to try and jump between uh, different things. Um, so this is a very small chart. This is a Superenco uh, six in the NASDAQ, just filtered by a simple moving average. It has a $500 uh, target. Uh, just waiting for a pullback. Um, if I can get a pullback to 83.60, I will um, I will activate it. I have the um, uh, the 500 tick filtered by the daily open range as well. Like I said, all I have today is just one screen. So um, thank you for your patience. So here is the um, open range 500 tick taking a long. On the break of the volatility stop above the open range, uh, 75 tick stop. So we're going to give it plenty of room. All right, we're getting some pullback now, um, and decided to try and take a long. Now here is the long. Um, they should be getting to over 8400 initially. So uh, this template has a very quick. Uh, 20 tick target. Uh, yeah, 20 tick first target.
OK, target one hit. Stop goes to break even plus a couple of ticks. So obviously, right, there is this very tiny little resistance area here. And my hope is once they get through it, they can just hit the second target here. I know it looks a bit small. I can't quite figure out how to change the settings at this point, and I don't want to play around with anything. This um, chat was on a much larger monitor, so now on the laptop, it just looks kind of funny. So um, the trail stop is kicking in. It's going to trail pretty close now. Not always the best approach, by the way, but this is a very small time frame, so. Let's see if we can get that target before hitting the trail stop. Here it is, hitting the second target. So still short of the daily goal for this chart. I'm going to discontinue the longs for now. Here is the 500 tick again. The trade is doing fine. Target is uh, pretty high, but that's all right. Uh, like I said, I, I really think they're going to try for the 8400 and higher. Ultimate. Target, of course, is that other price I was talking about from a while back, um, 84.37. That's there. There are a couple of prices in between, such as 02 and 20 something. I forget now. But anyway, um, this template will hit its target before those higher numbers, anyway. Uh, since it's Friday, I'm going to be a bit aggressive with the stops because I do have to leave today and I don't want to leave anything running today. So when I leave today, everything is going to be shut down because I'll be back uh, after market closes. And uh, even though the auto trader, every single template is set to um, cover any positions by 4 p.m., I still want to make sure because they will disqual uh, disqualify me from a funded account. Um, if we keep overnight positions, one of the drawbacks of having a funded account, you know, got to um, got to play by their rules. Okay, well, they took out my stop, and that's fine. I'm just going to wait now, I guess, hoping for a retracement closer to the daily open range. If they don't give it to me and go straight over 8,400, that's okay. You know, it was a good week, all things considered. And definitely on a Friday, especially um, when I have to leave in a couple of hours, I don't want to 
risk any kind of losses. I want to finish the week on a good note. It's important to me just psychologically to finish the week, you know, profitable, even if it's not much. About 200 away, daily target on this one. Ah, here we go. Target one, and daily goal should be right there somewhere. Let me trail this closely now. Come on, a little higher. I'm going to be close because uh, I have to leave soon and I don't want to give them much back at this point. There we go. All right. That's close enough. Okay. So this one hits, it's, well, I guess almost hits its daily, daily goal. A little bit short here. Good enough for me. Let's show everything. All right, uh, let's take a look. Whoops. Uh, nothing I can do here. They're, they're just too high at this point. So this is the uh, other chart, the uh, 500 tick NASDAQ filtered by the daily range. I just, I need more of a pullback. And it really would like a pullback too the zone here, but then I'm going to have to leave and I don't want to leave anything running. Uh, I'm going to give it some more time. Uh, but uh, it might be it for today. We'll see. Okay, well, I'm going to go. They're not going to give me my pullback. Uh, they're pushing higher and higher. Um, uh, so 84.02, 84.20 or so uh, would not be unexpected. I would have traded possibly if I stayed home, but I don't want to leave anything running. So a very modest day, but you know what? Uh, still fine. Uh, just uh, a quick trade from the open, trading above the open range, blue bars, and a nice long. So this time I increased my stop. And once again, spoke about this the last time. How, you know, if I if I had a tight stop, it would have been taken out. But because I had a larger stop this time, uh, confident um, in higher prices, then I was able to withstand uh, this pullback. So definitely, um, you know, a decent stop where the trade is allowed to breathe does make a difference. I will include, when I come back, I'm going to add the uh, combine uh, statistics just to uh, show you where I am. I kind of... I've been forgetting to do that. I apologize. Okay, guys, I'll be back soon.